Hi everyone, welcome back to Gabriella's Kitchen. Today I've got a really nice recipe for you to make a little change to your Sunday roast. I've got an amazing piece of lamb shoulder, thanks to Bowden Block again, providing the best meat in Liverpool. It'll go into a slow oven for five hours, put it in and forget about it and get on with the rest of your day. We're gonna make a start now on our marinade for our lamb. We're gonna get loads of flavor from loads of fresh herbs. So I'm gonna use some rosemary, thyme and oregano. You don't have to use a pestle and mortar if you want, you can just chop this really small by hand with a knife. But I'm gonna do this in my pestle and mortar so we can get a really nice thick herby paste to spread all over my lamb. garlic and all my fresh herbs, it smells amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some fresh black pepper and I'm gonna add some olive oil and that is gonna be our marinade. Now at this point guys, once we get the marinade onto our meat, you can do this the night before. So Saturday night, get your meat ready and then you can put it in the oven on Sunday morning and that's your roast sorted. So to this now, I'm gonna add some olive oil to my herby paste. Just a few tablespoons enough just to really get like a nice oily marinade. Give that a good little mix. So now we're gonna move on to the meat. So what we're gonna do is we really wanna maximize getting that marinade into the meat. So we're gonna score the meat. We don't wanna go really deep. We're gonna do nice shallow crisscross marks. And that just means that when the marinade goes on it, it's got little grooves and pockets to really sink in and the meat can absorb as much flavor as possible. So I'll bring it in close now and show you how we score the meat. scores we can put our marinade on and really get your hands involved here and massage it in we want to get all that flavor inside the meat so ideally we want to leave this meat to marinade overnight if we can if not a couple of hours is more than enough just a really important point now to let you know guys is when you're ready to roast this, make sure the meat has been out of the fridge for at least an hour before cooking. You wanna bring that to room temperature. The reason why we do this is because when we put the meat into a hot oven, if it's cold, it's gonna get a shock from that hot temperature and you'll get a tough meat. So make sure it's room temperature before it goes anywhere near the oven. So my meat's been marinating for a good few hours now. So it's ready to go in the oven. It's been out of the fridge, it's room temperature, and it smells incredible. So let's talk about the pan and how we're gonna be roasting this lamb. I am using a Dutch oven pan. So this is a casserole dish. But if you haven't got one of these, don't worry. A roasting tin is fine, as long as you can get some foil around it really tight. What we're trying to do here is create a nice little oven with a tight lid so the steam can really help soften and cook that meat really, really slow. So we want to put our lamb into this, but we want to put it on a bed of flavour. We want to just really start building up some real depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some chopped carrots, some onions. Here you can do whatever you want. If you've got celery, add that. If you've got leeks, put that in. So we're just going to chop it really rough and just lay it on the bottom. Don't worry about it looking tacky. This is just to add flavour to our meat. and just sit that on top and make sure you get all that marinade just you don't want to waste any of that flavor sit on top of the veg so to that now what we're going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of liquid not too much but we just want to create a bit of steam so you can add some white wine red wine 
You want to keep it alcohol free, go in with a bit of beef stock, veg stock, chicken stock, anything. You just want a bit of moisture in the bottom of the pan. So I'd say about one glass, one to two glasses is more than enough. To find a little glass of wine, I'm going to add a few splashes of water just to help create that steam, not too much. So now the next thing is we're going to put this into the oven. So what we're going to do first is we want to put it into a high oven for 15 minutes just to get a bit of colour on that lamb. After 15-20 minutes in a high oven at 200 degrees, we're going to put the lid onto it and turn the temperature right down and leave it for four to five hours. We know when it's ready when we can literally put our fork into it and the meat pulls away from the bone easily. So a quick lamb recap. The lamb's been marinated, it's been sitting out with the fridge for at least an hour, it's room temperature, it's on our bed of veg and it's going to go into our preheated oven with the lid off for 15 minutes to get a bit of colour, 200 degrees. So the lamb's had 20 minutes uncovered and you can see I've got a nice bit of colour on it. So now the lid's going to go on, we're going to turn that temperature right down to 160 degrees and we're going to leave it for four hours. We'll check on it at four and see how it's going. If it still feels tough, we'll put it on for another hour. I'm going to take the lamb out of the oven in five minutes. It's been in for four and a half hours. I'm going to show you a quick recipe for a great side dish that goes perfectly with the lamb. I'm going to show you how to do some sauteed cabbage with peas, chilli, garlic and pancetta really quick. So we're going to start off in the pan with some olive oil. You want to get that in a medium high heat. Into that we're going to add some pancetta and that's just smoked bacon. So if you want you can just do some bacon chopped up small, streaky bacon, normal bacon or if you want a bit veggie, leave it out. We're just going to chop that into little cubes and we'll get that frying in the pan. We want to get a bit of colour on that so medium high heat as I said before. While that's frying we're going to let that get some colour and then once that starts to brown we're going to add our chilli and garlic. So add as much as you want here. I'm going to go with half because I don't want it too spicy. Just thinly sliced. And with the garlic, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crush it, take the skins off it and add that in whole just to infuse the oil. So I'm going to get my cabbage ready. I'm using a sweetheart cabbage. You can use whatever you want. Savoy works really well here as well. You want to just get it and just shred it into nice thin pieces that are going to cook quickly. Pancetta's starting to get really golden now, so I'm going to go in with my garlic and my chilli. Be really careful here that you don't want to burn the garlic, and just keep the pan moving. Just give that 30 seconds to one minute, just take that raw taste of garlic out, and then we can add our cabbage and our peas. fresh black pepper and just let that cabbage soften. It'll take about two to three minutes. The cabbage is softened. I've checked it for season. It tastes really good. So what I'm going to do now is take it off the heat and I'm going to sprinkle in some parmesan. This just adds a really nice cheesy flavour but makes a really creamy sauce for the cabbage as well. So the cabbage is ready to serve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cabbage on a really nice large serving dish and serve my lamb on top of that. Guys, remember this has been in the oven for four and a half hours. It's really, really hot, so be careful when you take the lid off and watch you don't let that steam burn you. It smells incredible. And I know it's ready because the lamb has just fallen off the bone. I'm just going to take that out. And just give it a little shake because obviously lamb's got a lot of fat so that a lot of oil does come off of it. Just drain that, place it on top of your sauteed cabbage. There it is guys, slow cooked lamb shoulder. Something a little bit different for your Sunday roast with an Italian twist. Thanks for watching.